All right, peoples, here we go. This is Rob Loxian plays in the Flint. I one with get... my favorite tier seven cruisers. I'm sorry, what? Probably, it's like one of my favorite tier seven cruisers that I have. Okay. Now, yeah. I have a question for you, Rob, and I don't mean this in a in a in a condescending way or bad way. Did you earn the ship? I bought it with coal. And no steel. Okay. Same. Now, I, I mean, you know, at this point, that's how many players are getting the ship. But you know what I mean by earning, right? Yes. At least I do. And what, what do you, what do I mean by that, Fury? Uh, I rem I also remember when she first came out. Uh, she was a ranked reward, I believe, for reaching rank one three times. Correct. You had to and rank up three the, times. It was the old ranking system, so yes. there were twenty-one levels, I yes. believe, if I remember correctly. Yes, it was a full season of ranked. It was a slog. Yes. It was a slog. And then they gave yeah, you this ship. Was, yep. Yeah, I don't think the that's first, the... the first reward for reaching rank one ever was the Jolly Roger flag. No. I'm pretty sure. No. Really? Yeah, really. The first reward for reaching rank one ever was Kitakaze, or, or uh, not Kitakaze. Um, what the hell is the name of that ship? The torpedo. Kitakami. Kitakami. Okay. So Wargaming, Wargaming gave Kitakami to the players who ranked out in the test season of the original ranked system. There were six of them on NA. And they basically sailed around and team killed everybody and laughed about it because they had a free ship that nobody else got. And as a result, <laughs> the Kitakami was removed from development cycles. Like they said, well, we can't release this to the public because this is what our, our Unicom players are going to do. This is, you know, this is not healthy for the game. And mm -hmm. Kitakami has been in development hell ever since. Yep. Well, it should be re released with friendly fire now off. That's, yeah. Well, and, and some people believe that was part of the reason why friendly fire was removed. Nice kill on the, on the Aoba by uh, Bry Guy, by the way. Um, I, you know, before we get too much into history of, of the game, this is what this is what you do in the flint, right? You get to a position, you smoke up, and you laugh as the enemy charges that position that you're in. Yeah, and so, I also uh, initially smoked up so that the Weimar could farm without being spotted. And who's also well. your div mate, right? Mm -hmm. So together, you two are ridiculous HE spam uh, yeah. damagers, DPSers, and then you've got your sin up to basically hold the enemy in place should they attack. Yeah, Flint used uh, to be better, that's true. In in Flint, yeah, I think it used to be better. But uh, yeah, when they first, at least, I think it was a year or so after the game released, when ranked, when I first did ranked, mm -hmm. I I think the prize instead of it being Kitakami, it was the Jolly Roger flag that you got mm -hmm. when you reached rank one. So and then. The third season is when they released Flint. Yes, in season two, it was Jolly Roger Flag, and a community manager named Also Robots. I distinctly remember him saying that um, you're getting a reward ship. It's just not going to be the Kitakami. So a lot of people, myself included, sacrificed, frankly, a lot of our lives and sanity to rank out in season two, only to find that there was no ship. You just got the damn flag. Um, and then season three came along and not until, if I remember right, not until after season three was over, did they actually announce you're going to get a ship, uh, if you rank out enough times. And that was the Flint. And yes, it, I believe it's the third time that you rank out correct. from correct. the second season onwards that you would get it. So mm -hmm. season four, yeah. Rip your from my understanding, it, it was season three. That you yeah, could he get did it. get a torpedo hit on the sub though. Mm -hmm. At least I think he did. Looked like it. It looked like it. But he, the sub did a really nice job with dolphin diving back down again after killing your Weimar. 
but I also noticed that he was low on dive capacity, so I was, I was like, no, I'm going to keep looking this direction. Mm. I'm not spotted. Because once you run out of dive capacity, you're forced to surface. Also, random depth charge activation. Yep. You know, it's not going to do anything. Yep. So that really frustrated me because I only had one rank out and I didn't play season three because I'm like, well, I don't get a ship, so why do I want to play? And then Wargaming is like, oh, after the fact, here you go. S uh, mm -hmm. Surfacing and torpedoing your sin up. Bry guy's in trouble. I like that you're, I like relatively your position here. It's very smart. You're being careful not to get out and overexposed and shot up by the Ishmael. It still got shot up, but... Yeah, you did, but you, yeah. didn't, you didn't lose a lot of it. Don't you play for the fun of it? Iron Meals, the original rank system was the most toxic environment you can play in. If you've oh, been yeah. following Snow Mongoose's frustration for not winning, I would like you to take that and amplify that times maybe by 10, and you understand <laughs> just how frustrating ranked can be. The current ranked system isn't as frustrating because it's not so much about ranking up as it is about just getting wins to get your steal. For me, for me, it is still frustrating because I want to play the tier 10s in higher tiers. But Why? my teams... I play tier 10 for the most part. So, so okay, the reason I'm bringing that up is because to me, there's no reason to play tier 10 other than because you want to play tier 10. You're, mm -hmm. you're not grinding up a line. You're not getting anything specific extra beyond while I'm playing tier 10. So, like, for me, where it's at is silver because I can grind my tier 8s and 9s, which you saw me doing earlier on stream. Mm-hmm. And either way, most of the ships that I need to grind, well, the ones that I'm technically grinding right now, which the mm -hmm. FDG I'm still regrinding, even though I don't really care to. Yep. Because I already have Kerr first. But I that's really the only ship line that I'm grinding right now. Yep. I already have G9 and everything else. And just trying to learn how to truly play G9 right now as well. Mm -hmm. So so I'm that's okay rather, at tier 10 and ranked, yeah, sure. Yeah. But otherwise, I just... Tier 7 for me, more just like, haha, mm -hmm. troll, because Belfast is a thing at that tier. <laughs> I have yeah. sure. too many battles in that ship. <laughs> now, uh, let's get back to the replay for one second. Rob, I mean, you're doing what you'd expect to do in a flint. I like your use of smoke there to farm the Ishmael for a little bit. You've got Hydro running too, which is very helpful because you might have seen Akazuki torpedoes. So I like this. You don't play rankers at the moment. I log in for two hours, do it with a friend, get two dailies, and you're done. Part of the problem with the current system of ranked is it's only open during certain times of day. The original rank was open whenever. Mm -hmm. That is true. But, um... One of, so they did the flint for three wins, they did the black for five wins, and then they made special camouflages for seven wins and another one for nine wins. So you got a special camouflage for the flint at seven and a special camouflage for the flint at nine wins, if I remember right, rank outs. And those camouflages are still considered the sexiest camouflages in this game because the flint special camouflage, which by the way, you can buy now if you get enough rank tokens to do it or even clan tokens. Uh, now is it's a hundred percent to XP, a hundred percent to commander XP, and a hundred percent to free XP, and it's a permanent camouflage, people. It's disgusting, economically. I, I, I don't know what it looks like. Yes, you do have to rank out in gold to do it. Um, and there's two of them. There's also one for I believe there's one for clan battles now too. So you just have to reach Typhoon with clan battles and do 30 wins in Typhoon. Nice kill. That'll happen. Um, and then there's black. Black's camouflage gives you 150% to XP, 150% to commander XP, and, you probably guessed it, 150% to free XP. And it's also a permanent camo. Also, that torp dodge. That torp yeah, dodge. Yeah, 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 that was So, yes, that permanent camo is only on the flint. That's correct, Randy. But at tier seven, I mean, you could do you could do a daily win in the flint. You could, if when it's not right, take it out and just farm like crazy. Mm-hmm. Who jam? No, you get more than one. I think you get three when you rank out. 
I really want to hear this black one because I kind of want it now. It's but ridiculous. There isn't a way to get the black anymore. That's correct. Which I really want them to bring it back now that I can get that and learn how to play a Fletcher. This is a replay carpool. How you doing, by the way? Nice Kraken coordinated attack. So, I mean, you know, you, you got very lucky, Rob, because the enemy decided to just stay within your range while you smoked and farmed him. Yeah. But, and hey, it's a Kraken. Like, there were various points, like, when I charged out on charge the Akatsuki and Ismail where I could have died because if the Ismail had been paying attention mm -hmm. as well. Because I had to go around an island, which means I would have been broadside. Yep. Um, chat, what do you guys think? YouTube worthy? You just witnessed a 40k Kraken, but you can't get one when you do 150k. Get good, DJ. <laughs> Raining says, I'd rather do anything else in this game than play several seasons of Ranked. Sure. <laughs> 